Hey what's up everyone this is Jalay welcome back to another video Today I will be unboxing the heart of a computer aka the processor and what I have here is an 8 core 16 thread monster by AMD the Ryzen 7 3700X This is going to be the second most costly component which will take place into my upcoming streaming PC I'm super excited about this so let's get going with the unboxing Quickly going through the box AMD Ryzen 7 3700X is an 8 core 16 thread processor with the base clock speed of 3.6 GHz and the max boost clock speed of up to 4.4 GHz. This processor does not have integrated graphics or iGPU, so an external graphics card will be required. This is the third gen AMD Ryzen processor, which is the latest so far. So it is built on top of 7 nanometer architecture, but more of that later. Ryzen 7 3700X is also PCI 4.0 ready. But you will have to get either an X570 or B550 motherboard to make use of that PCIe 4.0 goodness. Here is a cutout through which you can see the processor and verify that it is indeed an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. Since this processor has got an AM4 package, you can technically install it on top of any of these chipsets. But that does not mean you should. I would recommend getting at least a B450 chipset motherboard to avoid issues like bottlenecking. This processor has a total of 36 MB of cache, which is the total of L24 MB and L332 MB. This processor is also unlocked, or in other words, you can overclock it if you wish to. The base clock speed is 3.6 GHz and since it is unlocked, the max boost clock speed is up to 4.4 GHz. However, please keep in mind, while this processor comes with 3 years of limited warranty, it does not cover any damages caused by overclocking. Inside the box, we are expected to see three things, the processor itself, a free stock air cooler and an installation instruction manual. So let's take them out of the box and have a closer look. The processor is securely placed inside this tiny box, but before we take it out, let's see what's inside the other one. Just like all the Ryzen processors, 3700X also comes with a stock air cooler. But unlike others, this Wraith Prism is a powerful thermal solution and the best air cooler AMD has to offer. The first thing I would like to point out is that this AMD logo, the ring surrounding the fan and the fan itself, all three of them are RGB and fully customizable with the motherboard compatible software. There is also this toggle switch allowing you to switch between two states, low and high. Low means quieter fan but not so good cooling and high is the totally opposite which means louder fan but better cooling. This cooler has a permanently attached 4 pin CPU fan header. Apart from that, it also comes with two additional cables and I am not sure why. I think the 4 pin RGB cable is used to control the RGB lights and the USB 2.0 header is used for the Razer Chroma software. Looking at the bottom of the fan, it comes with the thermal paste pre-applied, so you can use this cooler immediately without any kind of preparations. You will also see that these four copper heat pipes will come in direct contact with the processor which allows more efficient transfer of heat to these stainless steel fins for better cooling. The build quality of this fan feels amazing and should be sufficient to keep your system's temperature low. Now let's finally check out the processor. One important piece of information which isn't mentioned anywhere on the box is the TDP of this processor which is 65. Thanks to the 7 nanometer Zen 2 architecture, the TDP is much lower compared to the 12 nanometer Zen Plus architecture which means 3700X will require much less power compared to 2700X which has TDP of 105. The Zen 2 architecture also brings about 15% performance improvements. Apart from that, the 7 nanometer FinFET transistors also increases the L3 cache capacity, doubles the infinity fabric bandwidth, doubles the floating point throughput, increases the two-way SMT or simultaneous multi-threading which is called hyper-threading on the Intel side and many other features. Like all the other third-gen Ryzen processors, 3700X can also automatically overclock thanks to the precision boost override or PBO. Not to mention, manual overclocking is still no problem. The fact that this processor is PCI 4.0 x16 ready means it will double the bandwidth available to the graphics card, hard drives, SSDs, Wi-Fi and Ethernet cards providing that you have a compatible motherboard. I will be installing my Ryzen 7 3700X on MSI B450 Tomahawk Max which is a great budget motherboard. I have done a full review of this motherboard, you can check it out by clicking on the iCard or link in the description. 
To conclude this video, I bought this processor for 27,000 rupees. So if you try to look for an 8 core 16 thread Intel mainstream processor and if you want it to be unlocked for overclocking like all the AMD processors are, you will have to pay a lot more than what AMD has to offer. I will release a full review of this processor with benchmarks and my personal experience after I use it for a while. That's been it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more PC related content.